How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 13 in my QBasic tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to generate a random number. So open up QB64 and run the QB64.exe file. And let's save this file as random num.bas and click OK. So, what we're going to do is we're going to keep generating a random number and printing it out um, until the user wants to stop. So, let's just create a variable called, again, set it equal to 1, which is going to be our value for true. If it's 0, that means we want it to be false. So, while, again, equals 1, we're going to keep executing something. And we'll end our while loop down here with the when command. Uh, none of that should be new if you've been watching the series. If it is new to you, go watch my other videos just to see why we're doing that. Now in here is what we're going to actually create a random number and, you know, ask the user if they want to create another one. To create a random number, the first thing we have to do is type out in all capital letters, randomize timer. So this randomized timer is what we use to create a random number. So in order to get this random number, we're going to create a variable called num. And we're going to set it equal to int r and d in all capitals, int in all capitals as well, times 10 plus 1. Now, I may have lost a lot of you there. So basically, the randomized timer is what we're going to use to generate a random number. This is where our random number is going to be um, chosen. But basically, what this does here is it's going to return some number between 0 and 1. So that could be 0 0.013 sort of thing. This 10 here is the maximum number we want to get for our random number. So 10 is the highest number we'll get. This is the lowest number we want to get. So. This here is going to create some number between 10 and 1. Sorry about that, my phone was ringing. Um, and basically what this int does here is when we multiply the R and D by 10, we're going to get some decimal number. Int has no decimals, so it's basically going to round our number so we have no decimals, and then when we add 1 to it. So everything we've done here, it's going to return a number between 1 and 10. So let's print out the number. We're going to print out our number, and then we're going to ask the user if they want to ask the user if they want to get get a new number. Okay, so we're going to ask the user if they want another random number. You have to type in y that equals yes. And we're going to store this in a variable called answer. And put a dollar sign to signify that it's going to be a string that gets returned. Now what we want to do is if the user types in y, lowercase or uppercase, then we want it to loop again. Otherwise, we're going to end the program. Now the easiest way to do that is if answer dollar sign does not equal y so we can say does not equal by using the um, less than and greater than signs together so if answer does not equal y lowercase or answer does not equal uppercase y then we want to set play again to something other than 1 and we're just going to set it to 0 to signify false and we'll end our end if here with the end if statement so that is our program let's run this So the first random number we got was 9. Do we want a new random number? Yes, we do. We get 2 this time. 3, 6, 4, 6, 10. So you can see it's completely random. 2, 10, 
nine, eight, there. I was waiting for one. So as you can see here, we get nothing higher than 10, nothing lower than one. So our program is working just how we want it to. All right, I'm gonna save that. Um, and that's really all I, want, all I wanted to talk about this time, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.